Ginger can be considered as a cash crop that is predominantly grown in southern part of Kaduna State. The produce is grown in Kachia, which is nicknamed Home of Ginger. It is also cultivated in Kagarku, Jaba and Jamaa local governments, among others. Ginger farming and cleaning has become a major source of income for people of southern part of Kaduna State. The ginger, I feel, is the gateway to Kachia local government. Economy gateway to Kachia local government and other local government around in southern Kaduna. I would say that ginger product is the economic gateway to southern Kaduna. Man. If you go to other places like in the south, south, you find these people into the farming of probably rubber, cocoa, and the rest of it. These are their cash crop. They make money from it. We here in southern Kaduna, we don't have any crude oil. We don't have other cash crops that we now raise our, our, our shoulders to say that this is what we are relying on. But with the ginger products, which has favor the, the cultivation here, I can pontifically tell you that uh, the farming of ginger is very good and is very important to somebody who is living in southern Kaduna. This ginger helped me because I do pay some of my family bills and the rest with the work of the ginger because they do pay me. So with that piece, I do usually make it in order to satisfy out some of my bills. The price of ginger was said to have appreciated in the last three months when it was sold for 850,000 naira per ton and 30 to 35,000 naira per bag. But the price has continued to fall to 750,000 naira per ton and 25,000 naira per bag in recent times. A situation ginger farmers say does not all go well for their survivors. So the supply is lower than the demand. So that's why you see the price is coming down. So we don't have union and that is really affecting us. The major companies that do come to purchase the ginger, they extort the, 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 uh, the farmers and then you discover that they don't pay the farmers the value of what they are selling. So those are some of the major challenges that we have. While the ginger farmers highlighted challenges of ginger cultivation in the area, they, they listed government participation, subsidizing of farm inputs, provision of soft loans and establishment of farm outputs price control board are some of the factors that could help discourage losses incurred by ginger farmers. We want government to support us with uh, machines and fertilizer or chemicals. Government should come into the business of ginger. That's one. Not just state government, I mean the federal government should come into ginger because I believe ginger in the country is giving money more than crude oil. Government should be giving fertilizer to farmers at subsidized rate. Mohammed reporting.